Hey guys, can you hear me? Yes? Awesome, that's not a yes is. Okay. I'm going to get away and you come from. Hello. I'm here with my a mini version of myself. How are you guys doing? It's uh, been a while since I've done a video chat with the LTU, so I'm really excited to talk to you guys today. Happy to answer any questions, and um, I'll start checking out and see what you guys are saying now. Thank you guys for all the love. We're looking forward to uh, playing some, some shows for you guys soon. Coming up in May, we're starting at the Rock and Rio in Vegas, and then we're going to be playing um, we're going to be playing Mexico City mm -hmm. and Monterey, and uh, we're also excited to um, get back to, to Europe in uh, August and September. Um, I know you, a lot of you guys have been asking about Chester to make sure he's doing good, and thank you guys for your concern. He's doing actually really well, and um, I saw him just last week, and he has his cast off, and he's wearing sandals and he's walking and putting a little bit of weight on his foot and he's uh, doing physical therapy now so we're on track to uh, pick up our tour and we're really excited to get back on stage and play for you guys. Alright, so ask me some questions. A lot of, yeah, a lot of Chester questions. Thank you for the thank you for the compliments on my hair. I've been working hard um, during our time off to to just grow my beard and hair, and uh, it's going well. Just scrolling through all the the likes about my beard and hair to try and find some questions here. Okay. Are you planning to play with Tom Morello, Rakim, or Paige Hamilton live? I would personally love to play with any of those uh, musicians live. Um, we have talked to Tom Morello on and off about maybe doing something at some point, um, but nothing has been confirmed. Um, but we definitely, definitely will try to do some of those live. Uh, we've talked about playing some more songs from Hunting Party on um, an upcoming tour. So if you guys have any favorite songs um, off the record, let us know, and uh, we'll try and try and uh, learn those, or actually remember how to play them, because it's songs we haven't played in a long time. Uh, favorite drummer, my, probably my favorite drummer of all time, I would say, is probably John Bonham from Led Zeppelin. Um, a lot of requests for well, Keys for the Kingdom seems to be to be a favorite. Hey Rob, since it's um, Monday, do you have a band meeting? Uh, today is one of the very few Mondays where we are, where are not where everybody will not be in the office uh, meeting today. Some of the guys were traveling. Uh, we were here last Monday. That's when I saw Chester, and he was doing really well. Why well, don't have a Twitter account like Mike, Chester, Joe, and Phoenix? Um, I don't have a Twitter account because I still can't manage to get through my emails and my text messages and. All, um, all of my family and friends back on time. So once I start doing that, then I'll consider um, adding a Twitter account to my life. Okay. Um, someone's asking, is when I, how long have I been vegan? Um, I've been eating a vegan diet uh, for about three years now, and I started doing it 
because of, uh, I actually did a cleanse after we'd been on the road for a long time. And the cleanse that I was doing was a vegan cleanse. And I felt really good doing it. So I just decided to continue for, for one more week. And that one more week turned into two more weeks, turned into three years. And I found that the, that diet has been really good for me uh, with all the traveling that we do. And I feel a lot better on it. So I don't uh, necessarily have plans to do it forever. But as of right now, I'm feeling really good um, doing it. Berlin happens to be one of my favorite places to, uh, to get vegan, good vegan food. Uh, will I keep playing drum solos on the European tour? I, I hope so. I, um, I know a lot of you guys in the meet and greets um, have a lot of nice things to say about my drum solos, and I appreciate that because I've never really liked doing drum solos. And as you know, my bandmates forced me to play one by literally stopping the rest of the song and waiting until I did one. So um, that was pretty mean of them, and I still have to get them back. Um, I did, I did uh, get Brad back uh, by doing the same thing to him um, a few years back in, in San Francisco. But um, yeah, anyways, um, it actually has worked out that I, that I do like playing solos once in a while, so... Usually when we do them, um, it's kind of like a it's, a it's a part of the show where we just improvise. And if I'm feeling up to it or we're feeling it, then I do it. And if not, then uh, we hold off. Um, do I like coffee? Yes, I like coffee, but I don't drink it very often because uh, it makes me crazy. Uh, Will you play a new solo to another LP song? Uh, that would be, that's actually a good idea. And we've talked about doing that and uh, just haven't made it happen yet. Bleed It Out tends to be the best song for jamming and bringing um, different people up on stage to play with us. But um, I think in the future, definitely, we will work it, I will work a solo into another song. Okay, so all of the European shows have not been announced, so stay tuned. Um, okay, I'm looking, for, looking through questions. Just bear with me guys for a second. What do you, uh, question about what do we do in our downtime? Um, I personally like to spend time at the beach and surfing when I have time off. Um, lately, we have um, we've been hanging out a lot and talking about um, us next record and, and kind of our overall plans for the next few years, um, and we're we're just kind of putting that together um, and. We're planning to um, plan the tour for um, from May through uh, most of September, and then uh, we have started talking about um, when we're going to go back in the studio to start making a new record. We're definitely we love being in the studio. We love making new music. So uh, I think as soon as um, we finish up the shows in, in September, uh, we'll probably get back into the studio pretty quickly to start making some new music. like to play in Italy. Yes, we love to play in Italy. And we'll be there on September 6th in Rome. Okay. Yes, we love Russia. Question. A 
Hello to all the fans in Russia. Will there be drum solos at the Mexico shows? I hope so. I hope that there's. I hope to do a lot of drum solos on the next on the next tour. Questions about a new album, which I just talked about. Lots of questions about bananas. that some of the LP was really like bananas. So for most of the shows, there's a lot of questions about, about uh, where we're playing. I think most of the shows that we're playing um, are, are up on the website. You can check those out. There's a few more that will be announced, so just keep an eye on LincolnPark.com for those. Um, I'm also curious to hear from you guys if there's, you know, we're always we're always working, you know, we're working hard with Lorenzo to always do things to make sure that the fan club is the best fan club out there in the world. So, if you guys have comments or anything that you want us to think about or talk about with the guys in the band, um, please uh, let us know what those are so that we can make this fan club the best as as possible for you guys. I use drumsticks to eat ramen. I haven't tried that before, but it sounds like a good idea. I think chopsticks are a little easier, but I see I see where you're going with this. hard to say when we're going to release new music. Um, when, we, when we make an album, we kind of lay out a rough timeline of how long we think it'll take to make the record, but obviously with something that's creative, um, it's hard to put a, a timeline on. So um, hopefully, I mean, we hope to have something out in 2016, but can't make any promises until we get going in the studio. Um, plans for the next record, uh, we're make, making the next album, as far as what it sounds like, um, that's really hard for anybody in the band to really predict. We all kind of have rough ideas of what we would like it to sound like, but once we start working together to make it, um, it usually takes on a life of its own, and uh, it's really hard to predict what it's going to sound like. I'm just as curious as you guys are as to what it's going to sound like. chose uh, James Jean to do the art for Hunting Party because we think he's an incredible artist. And luckily, um, he's a friend of ours, so we were able to um, able to talk him into doing some really cool art for us. So we, were, we got really lucky uh, that we were able to get him to do that. And uh, I think we will do some more collaborations with him in the future. For a North America tour, um, I know we're, we're the, for North America, for the most part, we're doing some festivals. You guys can check those out online. Um, we were really bummed um, to not hit as many cities as we planned um, in January and February. Obviously, Chester got hurt and we had to cancel those shows. So, you know, we'll definitely take all that into consideration and do our best to get back to uh, most of those cities in the future. Unfortunately, it's, sometimes it's a little tough to, to reschedule right away, but we will we'll do our best to make it as many places as we can. Just scrolling through 
your questions, guys. Hold tight for a second. Would we ever, uh, would we ever tour with me? Is this a question? I, I personally would love to tour with those guys. I think they're really talented musicians. And they, they, uh, they're awesome live. Hello to Israel. That was actually one of our one of my personal favorite shows, and uh, I hope we make it back there again soon. We have some requests, um, like uh, Keys of the Kingdom and Mark the Graves. Definitely uh, a possibility. Um, Fort Minor rumors. Uh, yes, I can confirm that there have been rumors about Fort Minor. And uh, I've heard those. Um, keep an eye out. I don't really have a favorite place to do shows. Um, you know, all of the shows are, are unique and special in their own way. And it's, um, it's really fun for us to, to have a chance to interact with all of our fans. Um, it's still, it still is mind-boggling to me sometimes that we have fans um, all over the world. And um, it's given us an opportunity to obviously travel a lot and to meet a lot of people. And um, it will, you know, we'll, keep, we'll, keep, we'll keep touring and playing shows as many places as we can as long as you guys are there to listen to us. We'll keep, we'll keep at it. to India. I know that we haven't been there before, and um, I do hope to get there one day soon. I know we have a lot of fans there, and there's a lot of and there's a lot of places in the world that we haven't been yet, and we uh, we have been talking about getting to some areas that we haven't been before. Um, ever considered doing an unplugged show or record I personally like that idea and um, I think it would be cool we have talked about um, scaling down our, our live show and doing a much smaller setup so a smaller version of it so that we can um, pop in at maybe a club or somewhere smaller and do a surprise shows for you guys um, that's something that's in the works because obviously now our setup is pretty complicated, so we are working now to streamline everything and have it set up in a way where we can load into a much smaller venue and play, and that might be something that is, sounds more acoustic or has some more acoustic elements to it. So it's definitely a, it's a good question, it's something we have been thinking about. Uh, where do you find, here's one of the questions, where do you find the strength to play through an entire show, especially now with the shortened versions and almost no breaks? Um, I definitely had to do a lot more exercise um, and training leading up to uh, the tours after we made the hunting party because obviously the drumming is much more intense and the show is very intense. So um, do a lot of cardio, like running and surfing helps. And then... Um, I think just playing the shows themselves it's, yeah, at the beginning, it's really tough. Like when you start anything that you haven't done before, it is, there's always a challenge. And I think um, just the fans, 
into the energy at the show really helps me get through the show. And then after I get a little bit of momentum, after playing five, six, seven shows, then uh, my body just adjusts to being able to do it. Um, I have to drink a lot of fluids, um, a lot of electrolytes, a lot of that. Um, I drink protein drinks during the show, and uh, that really helps me to get through. Okay, I'm looking through some questions. Collaboration with any that would be cool. I do have animals. I have three dogs. Not a fan of Nutella, of Nutella, but I know a lot of people like it, including some of the guys in my band. I perform the, uh, prefer to perform indoors or outdoors. If it's really hot outside, I definitely pre prefer to be indoors because it makes drumming a lot more difficult when it's hot. Um, but uh, if the weather's nice, I actually prefer to be outside um, rather than inside. But... What am I thinking about Chester's broken ankle? Um, Chester's doing really great, as I was talking about before. He's, um, Chester's great when it comes to doing physical therapy and really taking care of himself, so I'm not worried about him at all. I think he will be up and walking really shortly. He's already standing on his foot and that doesn't have a cast on, so he's doing great. And he appreci I know he appreciates all of the support from you guys and the wishes and love you've sent him during, his, uh, during this process of healing. He's doing, he's doing good, and uh, we're definitely excited to start rehearsing in the next few weeks. Um, I don't have any plans to... Uh, to do a side project. That is um, probably going to cut, that'll come after I set up my Twitter account, I think. My favorite sport is ice hockey. I used to play ice hockey when I was a kid, actually, in case you didn't know that. Okay, bear with me, guys, just going through some questions. A lot of you guys are sending. Uh, a lot of love. I appreciate all of the kind words you guys are, are messaging me. I'm looking through for some questions now to answer some more questions. Don't really have a favorite song. Um, kind of changes by the day. Um, favorite movies. I just saw the movie Whiplash. I thought that was really good. Drumming was, was awesome. It was definitely a, a very intense movie, but as a drummer, I like any movies that are about drums. Line, what about A Line in the Sand? That, that was actually a really fun song to play on the drums. Um, that would be cool to play live. My typical breakfast um, is usually a smoothie with lots of um, green vegetables and um, green powders. That's the healthy stuff. Hello to Chile. Chile.
Okay, just uh, going through, looking for questions. Um, yes, well, I think we have plans to do meet and greets. Um, any of the shows that we have announced, for the most part, I think that's correct. Yeah, Lorenzo has confirmed we have meet and greets set up for all of those shows. We'll announce the signups. So. And we will be announcing the signups for those meet and greets very soon. Do I know all of the lyrics to all of our songs? Um, no, I don't. And um, what's funny about the lyrics to some of our songs is Mike and Chester most of the time work on those on their own, and a lot of the times um, when I'm doing an interview with, interview with one of those guys, sometimes I'll find out years later what the song is actually really about um, after thinking it's about something else. Uh, we don't have any current plans to do another tour with Incubus, but we love touring with those guys. They're great guys and a great band. And, I would definitely love to tour with them again. Um, I started playing drums when I was about 12 years old. And um, I started, I actually started playing on my brother's drum kit. I was, at the time I was taking piano lessons and I decided that I wanted to start a band with some friends when I was 12, 13 years old. So, um, Based on what was needed in the band, I decided I'd play the drums. And um, I also had, I also had had an interest to play the drums for a long time after going to my first concert ever, which was an Aerosmith concert where I saw uh, Joey Kramer play the drums, and I had a chance to go backstage after the show and meet him. And um, that kind of stuck in my head as a little kid. And I thought it would be really fun to be able to play drums. So that coming together with um, my brother having a drum kit and some friends in, in junior high wanted to start a band, um, it just came together and we started playing. And um, I started to really love playing drums. And I every day when I'd come home from school, I would spend two or three hours practicing drums in my parents' living room. They were very, very, very patient. And um, not many parents will allow their kids to play drums in the house, so I got pretty lucky. Um, I do love my job. Um, you know, it doesn't really feel like a job to be able to play music. It is a lot of work, and it is um, very taxing when we tour and play a lot of shows, but I think the amount of fun that we have doing it really gives us the energy to do it. There's no possible way that I think anyone could travel as much as we do. I do as many flights, stay in different hotels, and uh, just have anywhere near the amount of energy needed if we didn't absolutely love playing for you guys. So, some hockey fans showing up. Um, I'm really proud of the LA King for winning uh, two Stanley Cups in the last few years. That was awesome. I watched, I've been watching hockey since I was a little kid, and the Kings always got, they got close a bunch of times to winning a Stanley Cup, but they actually obviously won their first Stanley Cup just a few years back. Video. Uh, video shoots um, tend to be less than enjoyable most of the time. So um, I know that one of the ones that was really fun for me, and it was a it was a long day and a lot of work, but it was the one with um, when we did Saint. That's definitely a video that stuck in my head. We did that with um, Mark Romanek, and um, that was a really fun video because we had a lot of Probably a lot of people that are still in LPU were there, and uh, we had a lot of fans there, and it made it feel like we were playing a, playing a show rather than shooting a video, and I'd much rather play live shows than uh, shoot videos personally. Uh, 
um, especially about making doing a drum session like I did for No More Sorrow. I think that was, um, I did that for Brett, I believe. And uh, that's a good idea. I, I definitely will uh, think about that and, and try and do, do a session um, on some on a, on a new song. If you guys have any requests for which song you'd like me to do, um, I can uh, I can film that for you in the next. I'll say the next year to be realistic. But if you send some requests, I can do a set, another drum session like I did for No More Sorrow. Set that up for you guys to see. <coughs> Hello to Argentina. All right, hold on a second, guys. Scroll. Favorite Led Zeppelin song. I I personally love to play Fool in the Rain. I love uh, shuffles, drum beats, and triples, and all that stuff for the drummers out there. You'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, Final Masquerade acoustic version. Will we play that during the live show? Um, not sure, but I think it's a good suggestion. You got. If you guys like the, the acoustic version of Final Mouse Grade, let us know. Let me know in this in this chat and I will uh, let the guys know. I do I collect drumsticks from the countries I visit? Um, that would be cool actually, I haven't thought about that. I haven't to, up to this point, but maybe I'll start. Will we play Hybrid Theory in its entirety ever again? Well, um, I think it's very possible. We're going to be celebrating um, 15 years this October. So um, if we are going to play Hybrid Theory in its entirety, it would probably be at the end of, uh, end of this year as we celebrate the 15 years since Hybrid Theory came out. Okay. Any questions? There's a thank you for uh, performing faint with me at the London Summit. Dream come true. Thank you. It was uh, our pleasure to do that. And we, it's always great to see you guys at the summit. Um, we definitely have a good time. It's fun to uh, play stuff for you and have you be able to come on stage and check out our gear. Playing, I think I answered this, but I started playing drums when I was about 12 years old, and I started playing more seriously when I was about 15. I took drum lessons for just about a year, and I just learned a, a few things from a drum teacher. I basically, what I learned from taking drum lessons was how to teach myself uh, to play certain songs, and once I kind of understood how to listen and listen to music and um, figure out what I wanted to play, I, I stopped taking lessons. Uh, for me, um, taking lessons or taking lessons or going to school for, for drumming, for me personally, took out some of the fun, at least when I was younger. And I became more interested in studying um, about drums as I've gotten a little older. But for me, it was playing drums was all about fun. So I didn't want to mix that 
too much work in with it. All right, guys. I just got a five five minutes left here. Um, thank you guys for uh, taking the time to chat with me today. I know it's been a while since I've been on, and uh, hopefully it won't be too long before I make it back. Um, one of my favorite musicians, um, personally, I, I think Dave Matthews is a great musician, and I think Carter that plays drums with Dave Matthews Band is um, one of my current uh, most favorite drummers. I think he's extremely talented. And, you listen to his drumming. He's uh, he's able to play play rhythms that would usually take two drummers to play. So he's actually playing what a drummer would play and what a percussionist would play, a percussionist would play all at the same time. And um, we were actually recording uh, the hunting party uh, next door to where um, Carter was doing some drumming um, with a couple guys from the band and. Uh, I was uh, I was playing um, I was playing one of the songs and I noticed that I looked over in the control room and I saw that Carter was standing in the control room watching me play the drums and um, I got really nervous when I stopped. It was cool to see him come down there. He's it's definitely um, probably easier for me to play in front of uh, twenty five thousand people than to play in front of a uh, really great drummer like. Like Carter. Okay, scrolling down. Hold on one second, guys. Yeah. It's frozen. Just the, this just the chat mentioned earlier. Uh, All right, sorry about that, guys. We were frozen for a second, or the, the computer was frozen. Okay. Well, we will be playing when they come for me live. Uh, don't have any plans to play that now. That was a fun song to play. And a lot of times the songs that we love playing, um, we just we have a lot of songs of ours that we like playing and we just um, we can't play them all obviously and so we rotate them in and out of the set. Sometimes it's fun for us if a song isn't in the set for a couple years when we bring it back it does feel like we get to play it again for the first time and kind of gets us excited. So um, I think after making the next record, um, we'll have a, we'll definitely add some songs. Usually, after making a new record, we add some songs back into the set that we haven't played in a while. Okay. Hello to Poland. I do like Minor Threat. Okay, we consider playing a longer set. I think our set our set length has tends to grow by Think about like 10, 10 or 15 minutes each time we do a new record. So we're we're getting up there. I think um, 
we play usually for about an hour and 40 minutes or an hour and a half. And um, I think I'll have to start running marathons a little bit longer. request to bring high voltage and carousel back. We just have songs that, that we personally like a lot more, but maybe with enough requests we might consider bringing one back. Maybe high voltage, carousel probably not. Am I a good singer? Not a good singer. I wish I was a good singer. Keep asking Chester for, for vocal lessons, but he won't help me out. He says I should just stick to the drums. Um, which instrument do I wish I could play? I do play the piano, and I wish I could play the piano a little better than I do. Um, hello, Leon. A song to play live. Um, in context of the set, sometimes Rebellion is, is a tougher song to play um, if it comes between two other songs that are pretty active. Um, that's one that I definitely uh, need to be in good shape to play when uh, when it's played in inside a set. When it's just on its own, it tends to be okay, but it's definitely a uh, one that uses up a lot of oxygen. I I am not able. I'm not good. I'm not a good artist as far as it comes to, uh, when it comes to drawing. Singing and drawing are not my thing. Now, is there anyone? Is there anyone else in the band that can play the drums? Besides me, um, I haven't seen anybody in the, in the band play that well. The guys definitely sit down and, and try and play, but I would say Mike has the greatest chance at, at learning to play drums. I had to guess. Hello to Milan. See you guys September 6th. Okay. How tired am I after a show? Um, I'm usually pretty physically tired, but it actually, um, I don't feel tired after playing a show. I, I'm not able to, usually, if not able to go to sleep, or at least, um, so we usually finish around 11 o'clock at night or midnight, and I'm not able to go to sleep until probably 4 in the morning because it is um, a big adrenaline rush and a lot of excitement. Even though it's physically tiring, it's also really stimulating and really fun for us. So um, I tend to stay up late after playing a show. Okay, going through some last few questions here. Uh, question about us being together for 15 years. Have we ever thought about releasing a book? Telling about our career. We definitely, um, after being a band for 15 years now, or a little longer than 15 years, we have talked about um, possibly doing a book, but maybe something different. Um, to kind of recap uh, the last 15 years. So um, it's definitely something that we're currently talking about, and hopefully we'll have something cool for you guys to see or read or listen to. Um, in the next year or two. And maybe some stuff um, sooner to check out um, uh, when, the, when we get to the end of the year, when it comes to the 15-year anniversary.
first favorite hybrid theory? I do love tacos. Great question. 